All right, welcome back to the Good Morning Ninja Show. And if you just they join me, I go say, where you done this since? Uh, because uh, a lot don't happen from our top stories to our new super review. It's a good chukudi just come up for studio. Uh, we just analyze the newspaper as it be. But uh, you know, as they go, we they go straight to our first conversation, and then uh, we get better guests with me. This is now my brother, my friend, a very, very exceptional individual, uh, and a person where they use in voice to make better money. He's an OAP and a voiceover artist. And with me, I have Collins Teke. My brother, how you doing? <laughs> well, I'm great. Very, very fine, man. Thank God. Uh -uh. Good to see you, man. See your hair. My brother, I'm back in. See oh, the wow. voice. We... Uh, the voice. That I'm is what we're talking about that. today. Yeah, we're okay. talking about voiceovers. I'm so excited about this one because uh, this one, I feel way really very, very passionate to me also. Mm. Uh, so we're talking about voiceovers. Yes. And a lot of people don't even know, say, voiceovers. Now business. They don't say you feel use and do business. They feel say, okay, uh, I have a nice voice. I just like to talk. That's what it be. So you within ladies industry, this is your field. You've been here for quite some time. So mm -hmm. tell us about uh, voiceovers first. Let's start a general background of what voiceovers are all about. All right, voiceover. Uh, it's a very simple term to define voiceover. Mm -hmm. It's um, a commentary. A recorded okay. commentary. Okay. So, uh, some would call it narration, whatever it is. But I just like make you record mm -hmm. something and mm -hmm. then you know pass on information. So that's that's the easiest way to put it. So it comes in different forms. There are different types. Mm -hmm. uh, like we all know, the very common ones. Are, uh, in fact, there are ones that are very common, but people do not even pay attention to. Let's bring it to our site now, yeah. uh, because they don't even think it's voiceover. And I mean, when you go to every bus stop. Mm. You go to every bus stop in every African country, mm -hmm. you find um, some element of voiceover there. Someone telling you what's bus what stop, bus is this, bus where is it's this. going. Mushi, 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 or mushi, mushi that you get in Lagos, yeah. for example. <laughs> that one, uh, that, that voiceover. Wow. You understand? <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it's a part of our everyday life, but mm -hmm. we don't get to know. So that's the simplest way to define it. So every recording that gives you an information or a narration or a commentary, mm -hmm. uh, as it were, that's the easiest way to put it. But for the sake of this uh, conversation, mm -hmm. then, uh, voiceover is, is, like you said, many things that people do not know. For example, if I told you that it's like um, an 8 billion, approximately, you know, as of 2017, mm -hmm. $8.8 .8 billion industry. I mean, um, that's globally. Mm. So but in Nigeria, for example, what we know of is just that, oh, it's on jingles, on radio, TV commercials. Yeah. But that's just like uh, the smallest, I mean, one of the smallest areas. Even if you look at the ratings of where the money is in mm -hmm. the voiceover industry, uh, animations yes. have the largest bulk of where the jobs and the money mm -hmm. uh, you know, is. That's globally, though. But because we're talking about Nigeria, now, we have space. to bring it yeah. down to yeah. our own country and see yeah. how we do it, so, which is very key. And um, yeah, I mean, pretty much it's um, a very lucrative space to to be in if you understand and um, and for anyone who's in Nigeria right now because we have not explored mm -hmm. all the different angles of voiceovers we just know f and I feel personally that the like those who did before us mm. they know to do too much to find much out finding. how this thing be you know mm -hmm. because when we listen to guys like um, Black Arrow, uh, Bros uh, Shagun, Shagun Arinze, yes. Arinze, you know this you know it you know those voiceovers those days mm -hmm. you know we all, we thought that was what voiceover was all about and um you know but we got to find out that ah this thing bigo this thing is everywhere so mm -hmm. the easiest way to put it first of all is voiceover is found it interfaces with multiple sectors mm -hmm. so that tells you that you can be anything and also have voiceover as what i mean part of the things you're doing in every, in any field whether in the health field. sector or the media it's just like it's everywhere. It's life. It's you know? life. It's, it's like it's like the sky. And now the funny thing is that, uh, yeah. as you said it, it's everywhere. Yeah. But yet we still don't even identify it as a thing of value. That's right. People still don't see that. Ah, I can do voiceovers, and it's a, an actual source of income. Mm -hmm. They still see it as leisure. What do you have to say about this? You know, it's, not, it's not leisure. Now, first of all, I know people who have built houses. You know, doing voiceovers, even in the the space. It, let me even do. Let me do an analysis of how it works. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's say you have a hundred number of voiceover. Let's say the percentage now. Yes. Out of the total number of voiceover jobs mm -hmm. that exist in the world, about 0.8% of that, those jobs are in North America. All right, and then the rest of the world is, you know, you know, taking the, the 
the rest of yeah, the percentage. The percentage, yeah. Most of it in Western Europe. In Africa, uh, maybe South Africa, and then Nigeria is just somewhere around. Mm -hmm. Because there's no, of course, the same challenges we have with all other industries. There is no um, structure. So, I mean, you, people don't even know what, in some countries, as good as, even voiceover artists have split sheet, like what artists have. Yeah. You know, you, if you are, you're, you cite there's some kind of voiceovers you do that it's for life. It's for they're life. For life. You sign contracts. We're, we're not even there yet. Endorsements. So, or, yeah. so there's that aspect of the mm -hmm. voiceover industry, which it's not known to us. Mm. So it's, it's understandable when people do not really look at it as a it's, it's serious thing. But, and that's why um, in the past couple of years, since 2017, I've been paying attention to bringing education about the industry to mm -hmm. our people, letting them know, look, this is big. It has been a part of our lives from small. I mean, we all watch cartoons, right? Yes. Now imagine if, you know, and then, and then the good thing again is it, it can take every, there's no age limit. That's another thing you look at. Mm. Why, is, I mean, voice over. So go back to your question. Why do people think it's just a joke? I think it's because lack of information. So that's why uh, for, for, for this opportunity that you've given me, I'll be able to like explain one or two things. Now, there are different types of voiceovers, for example. You have narrations, you have educational explainer videos, mm -hmm. you have internet videos, mm -hmm. you have um, uh, internet content, generally, voice, that voiceover is involved in. Yeah. You have audio, bo audio books yes. that voiceover is involved in. We have, uh, you see, all these things I've mentioned, I haven't mentioned TV commercials or, or radio, radio commercials, jingles, yes. jingles, right? Yes. You have podcasting, voiceover is involved in the imaging of podcasting. Mm -hmm. You have, what else? I mean, there are countless numbers a number of areas that voiceover can play. And I talked about the fact that it can interface with any industry. The health sector, for example, explainer information during this COVID-19 period. Yes. We all had different explainer information yes. from different companies, yeah. from hospitals, from, in fact, there's no limit to who is going to do a voiceover. Yes. Explain the, oh, for COVID-19, this is what you need to do. We all came up with, I mean, of course, your TV would have, must have done mm -hmm. a lot yes. of that. Now, that's, that's an area. It never stops. Whether it's COVID-19 or not, there's always going to be something in the health sector that requires an information passed across that voiceovers can play easily. Mm -hmm. So that tells you that it's serious business. And then voiceover um, also would give you an opportunity not only to uh, you know, meet a need, but also make money. Because mm -hmm. there's a business of voiceover. There is an industry globally. So if you look at yourself as, OK, I just want to go into voiceover, uh, where are the jobs? Uh, there must be an agency in Nigeria that yeah. brings me jobs. Uh, you know how the industry mm -hmm, works now, mm -hmm. but there's no structure. So, mm -hmm. na man, no man. Na man, no if you man. don't know anybody, we'll forget. <laughs> or there are different categories, but you could start to the point where you, you are recogni recognized voice. I've mm -hmm. had people call me, the Collins, I heard about you from this job, and uh, I want to give you a job. Before yeah. you get to that point, I'm telling you that wherever you are, even right now, you can learn more about the voiceover industry and also carve a niche for yourself and make something for yourself. Mm. Now, let me give you a typical example. Imagine how many books that exist in Nigeria that do not have audio versions of this book. Mm -hmm. Keep, everything's going to fast, it's a fast paced life. Yes. You know, I mean, we, people don't spend time reading books these days. I, I'm not, guys, if you read books, it's fine. Like, conventionally, it's okay. I don't yeah, but we, the that. reading culture is not I that. Mean, think about you listening big. to the audio recording of your favorite book with a voice that you adore, a voice that you would, that takes you, gives you the information. It's just like you're listening to maybe a Dewa, I mean, uh, listening to a Dewa talk on, uh, on TV, or mm. maybe listening to someone, I mean, who's a radio presenter. Yeah. But this time, it's specifically addressed, telling you a story of whatever book. So that's, that's just an example of, yes. of an area where you can play. If you know what it takes, if you can get to master the art of producing audio books, after you train yourself as a voiceover, mm -hmm. that's an area you can play conveniently. Yeah. Now, the good thing is, apart from you making money um, from being paid as a voiceover artist, if you understand the value chain of the voiceover industry, of every production, the value chain of every form of voiceover, mm -hmm. you will see where you can play. For example, before you get to a point of getting a voiceover ready, someone's got to conceptualize the idea of the script. Yeah, of someone's the script. got to write the scripts. Mm -hmm. Someone know, has to know how to record mm -hmm. a voiceover because mm -hmm. that's another area. Another entirely. area entirely. Someone has to know how to produce a mm -hmm. voiceover because um, there are fantastic scripts, great voiceovers that were done by great artists, mm -hmm. but messed up by, by the production. By the production. Yeah. So this is the value chain. 
is either you're playing in the space, uh, uh, the background, like though you're part of the production, which mm -hmm. is very smart. Of course, mm -hmm. as a voice of artist, if you want to go into the industry, learn everything about it. Know so, a little things about yeah. it. You should know how to produce. You should know how to record, mm -hmm. you know, if you know how to voice. Now, if you find out that you do, you, you uh, maybe that people feel that uh, my voice, I, I don't think my voice can do a voiceover. Let me even address that just a bit. Can, before can, can, can everybody do a voiceover? That's a, can every voice? be used for a voiceover? Everyone that has a voice. Everybody that has a Anybody voice but can everybody do a can voiceover. Do a voiceover. Yes, that, because a lot of people say that, ah, am I sure my voice yeah, is no, good no, enough? No, no. Once you can speak, hmm. the thing is, the voiceover industry is, it, see, you hear the call sometimes, they say voice acting, and there's, some will say voiceover. Yes. Now, voice acting is like a sub arm of voiceover. Yes. Because it's, it's, it's a kind of voiceover that requires a lot of acting. Yeah, there are, times, being in there, the are times, there are times in voiceover you just need to read the scripts the way mm -hmm. it is straight up. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're doing an announcement, you don't necessarily have to put a lot of acting into it. You know, uh, if I'm going to say, you know, um, this weekend on whatever, mm -hmm. you know, this weekend on Wazobia TV or wherever or whatever I want to say. I mean, I, I don't need, I don't, I don't necessarily have to put so much acting. But if I'm going to do a, vo a voice a script that requires drama, mm -hmm. or maybe for animations that I, I, I get into character that way, yes, I may need to pay attention to. Uh, that's what you could call a voice acting. So there are scripts that just to separate what voice what acting is, is okay. and voice acting. But so if you are doing voiceover, and then you understand the value chain you would be able to know where you fit in. So to go back to your question of... Um, I mean, can anybody, can anybody uh, do voiceover? Can anybody? Every and anybody can do voiceover. If, first of all, you understand the components of your voice and your personality, because it's key. See, if I'm a jumpy person, right, I could train myself to be able to do um, a voiceover that, that's calm. Mm -hmm. but, but if I have a character that's mm -hmm. naturally... I'm everywhere. Mm -hmm. I, I would naturally build, if I built my, my, my voiceover um, focus on scripts that require someone who is, who is you know, very excited, excited, excited hyper. I, I would most likely do better. Mm. So that's why it's important to even know your personality. Because there are times where you have to bring in um, that what, what makes you you to mm -hmm. the script, mm -hmm. that's, which is very key. Because mm -hmm. it's a space where I can pick a voice. I could say, I want to use a dead word today. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, I'm using someone else. Yeah. So what will make you unique and different is if you identify your personality and play in a space that brings out the full components and beauty, the beauty of your personality and your voice. Because, I mean, your voice is part of your personality. Definitely. Absolutely. Definitely. So everyone can play in this space. You just need to train yourself. And you can either be... Uh, a script writer, you could be, you could voice scripts. Mm -hmm. If you can speak, you can voice scripts. I believe that for sure. You just need to train yourself. There, there are a lot of arguments mm -hmm. when they talk about uh, accents, uh -huh. age factor. Hey. Now, so they sound, matter, eh? they sound like Nigerian. <laughs> we, we go we're do gonna... small thing for Yankee, you come see? cross, go Canada. So that is a major concern. Accents, yeah. uh, the, 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 the nah, age nah. factor, they say that one day. And some other, you know, mm. yeah, this, yeah, pronunciation of words yeah. correctly. So people have this as concern. So, 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 they say voice of artists must have accents. No. Must, I, have, must speak shrink, shrink, shrink. No, no, that's... that's British, a, you know. As a fat lie. <laughs> now, now, this is it. This question is very easy to answer if you... If, I mean, very easy because I have answered it a couple of times. Mm. You see, when you say British accent, American accent, by the way, first of all, let's go to the UK. Mm -hmm. How many English accents do you think there, uh, there are in the UK alone? Mm -hmm. How many? So which of them are, are you? Which one are you? No, 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 no. Let's let's get serious. This is yeah. heart to heart. Let's yeah. have a, yeah. In the UK alone, you can't count the number. They, oh, I, I'm sure you could count up to 150 different types of accents. Accents, yeah. That exist in the UK, and each one of them has uh, their nuances that would you know make them sound different from yeah. each other. Yeah. So which of the accents or UK are you copying? They mix. Okay. So to address that issue in the in the US, of course, mm -hmm. there as as there are some regions in in North America yeah. that you can never get jobs from, even as an American, if you do not sound a certain way, you must. Yes. They, because I I've, I've also played at an international level where I tried to you know. 
put out my work. So let me see if I can, so you get, can, some see if you can get some jobs but out there. I got to understand that it's, it's, it's a, an entire training of its own. Hmm. If you want to play in that space, good for you. But I, I, I think we could make voiceover fun because it's not, it's not an English, um, uh, what do you call it? It's not an English profession. It's, hmm. it's voiceover. It could be in Pidgin. Yes. It could be in Yoruba, depending on your audience. It could be in any African language. Mm -hmm. So concerning that, I would advise everyone who wants to go into the voiceover industry or you're trying, struggling to sound UK, or <laughs> sound whatever. Yeah. You know, that's why your personality matters. Your identity, how you sound, uh, may not be a factor when you have to act out a script, but it matters in the long run because at the end of the day, why they would take... I don't prefer a J James L. Jones to mm. voice a script that requires a Mufasa, mm. for example, because he could deliver a sound yeah. that is close to what you find in Africa somehow, even mm. though he's American. Even if he's American, you know, yes. Simba, being mm. brave doesn't mean you go about looking for trouble. Mm. Mm. True, true. Okay. He sounded that way because he, 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 he could do that he kind could of job. He could do that kind of job, yeah. had a sound that is identifiable. So you had like a personality so as an African, behind don't lose, that. Don't lose your Africanness when whatever you, in whatever you do. So um, uh, it's, don't you it's think a waste it's, of time. it's also because of the expectation of clients? Sometimes they tell you, "I want you to sound a bit of this way," knowing that mm. you want somebody who is a Nigerian mm, to, to sound like someone from Britain. Mm -hmm. It's not, maybe that is also a pressure. Yeah, what, yes, yes of that? course, of course, my brother, let me tell you, if you have a, a script and someone who's paying you that money says, mm. I, this word is reverberate, yeah. and the person says, call her reverberate. Reverberate. My brother, it's reverberate, you call it, <laughs> you want reverberate, say reverberate, Re we'll pay you money. There's no <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so let's settle that. So in the end, because they are limited, not limited, because they are, there's a lack of enlightenment okay. as far as voiceover business is concerned. Mm -hmm. That's why we, we find it, it's like voiceover artists are beggarly. You know, they just mm -hmm. say, just give me just the job, give me the job. job, because they don't understand. So, of course, that's a factor of uh, people not understanding what, 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 what works. Mm -hmm. So if a client is telling you what he feels should work, listen to your clients. But most importantly... You, it's your job as, as a professional to educate mm -hmm. the client. Mm -hmm. Look, this is what would work. Mm -hmm. Who's our audience? So if you have an audience, you define your audience, and this, I'm talking to Nigerians. What level of Nigerians am I talking yeah. to? I'm talking to is Nigerians the, in the, 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 the A class. The A class, or which of the yeah. categories am I talking to? And yeah. It depends on the product you're putting push, mm -hmm. push out there. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if you identify and then you can choose what best suits these people, Mm -hmm. depending on what environment they're in. Mm. You know, if I, I, I was going to do a voiceover, you know, um, in, in, and I want to talk to people in, 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 in Ibadan, for example. Yeah. My brother, I have to mix Yoruba into it. If I'm talking to Lagos, I could decide to do Pidgin or do English and, and it will be understood. Mm -hmm. But if I'm targeting a setting audience, maybe the, we have an event. Because voiceover also, uh, you can be used at events for yes. announcements. Yes, uh, you announcements know, uh, Ladies events. and gentlemen, award ceremonies. Yeah. That's yeah. also a big area. People just specialize in that yes. area and make yes. it all, all right. So, but yeah, if I'm doing that for, at, at an event, mm -hmm. I mean, you do expect uh, me to... Uh, you, you don't expect me to... I mean, what's my, my thoughts again? Uh, you, you, you're talking about how you the announcements at an, at an event. Absolutely. If, if you're you, doing it for a, an A-list event. If you're doing it for an A-list event. You can't go there and start saying... Yeah, uh, you can't go there and sound like saying, well, ladies and gentlemen, we <laughs> want to welcome you to this... Uh, <laughs> are you trying to do, ladies and gentlemen, you know, do all something right, soft. All right, all right, colleagues. We're going to be playing uh, <laughs> a clip of your work. Yeah. Let people get to hear... Yeah. You do your thing because uh, a lot of them say, hey, Let me we hear, let me we hear. We are, we're gonna play you the clip. Listen, uh, watch this, and you can understand why we're talking about voiceovers today. Check this out. Oh, you understand <laughs> what I'm talking about? When we talk to people with the industry, we know, we know it's in D. Did you hear that? Did you listen to that voice? Now, that <laughs> was Collins Tecker giving us a, a product <laughs> of what uh, the voiceovers uh, can look like and what can sound like. Now, Looking at what you just did, yeah. this you did, mm -hmm. and this was uh, still about the coronavirus pandemic Absolutely. situation, Absolutely. and it was so calm and, yeah. you know, very commanding. Yeah. And how, as, as, as a voice of artist yeah. now, how do you get to this point of so much confidence and putting your work uh, out this way? How do you get to that point? Well, I mean, it's, it's a journey to to understand how to deliver scripts. It's, mm. it's something you have to learn. 
And by the way, if you're going to be a voice of artist, you have to get used to recording all the time. Okay. You know, if I stay there without recording myself, it feels like I've not done anything that day. Mm. You know, I have to record and listen back. You know, you get to learn as you record. You get record. to improve, yeah. So, I mean, delivering scripts is um, an area on its own that should be studied. So, to achieve that, so for that script, for example, um, during the coronavirus period, I mean, it was done several months ago, very okay. early. I mean, you know, the, the craze during everywhere. The, yeah, I that mean, lockdown period, everything. Uncertainties, mm -hmm. you know, the fact the lockdown and people were at home. Mm -hmm. It was quite, there was need for more people to be at home. People were still struggling and all. Mm -hmm. But I, I noticed that most of the sensitizations uh, that we had were about, you know, uh, this is what coronavirus we do. You, yeah, stay home, stay. But yeah. nobody gave, so what I was trying to achieve with this was to give people a sense of, of understanding and responsibility mm -hmm. towards the coronavirus uh, and also give them that sense of victory at the end of it because mm. you know we look this is going to affect us this, yeah but it we're going to fight back in the end so you know it was a calm street script when i got to the point when i started by telling the story it was a sad thing it came into our world i mean which coronavirus after yes that, now we live I our just, life, come, just, just, just come, in, come harass everybody you know, <laughs> you know just harass everybody yeah. like, everybody's still, <laughs> you know, like, so that's the kind of that's what the first part said yeah. it's a fact it's a reality mm -hmm. it changed our world it affected us negatively mm -hmm. it even put us apart there were those who are saying i don't believe you know the you lot of yeah, chaotic you situation yeah. out there you know so but we would not allow that we would fight back you know we we'll fight with every strength that we have i mean that would give you a sense of responsibility look even if it's challenging, it's, on, it's a, uh, inconvenient to wear the mask. I have to do it because mm -hmm. if that's what is going to keep us safe, safe I have to life, do it. Yes. It's inconvenient to not make money, you know, mm -hmm. to go out. Mm -hmm. But I have to do it for now just mm -hmm. so we can fight the coronavirus. So you, you have to understand the concept and the story behind every script. Every script. And then you don't do that. See, uh, and when you do that, when you get into the studio, I also have a free mind mm. because it is key. Before you arrive at a production like that one you saw there, uh, before you arrive at that, you, you would have a producer work on it. There's someone mm -hmm. to write the script, mm -hmm. so you voice. So you, have, you need all of their opinions and okay. their inputs okay. before you get to the final production of the script. So mm. I'm very sure I probably would have taken that script a couple of times. And mm. then the producer would say, you know what, this particular line, I mean, I think we should change you it. You change this. But this was taken once, though, mm. um, because it was short script. I could you understand could put the everything, script. Yeah. And, um, you know, I wrote it myself, so it was easy for me to put it there. I mm. thought of it before writing it. So that's it. You have to understand how to interpret the script so it helps you to deliver, just like you heard there. All right. Uh, before we wrap this up, I'll just ask one final question. Last question. <laughs> uh, uh, how many times do you get to take... Because a lot of people say, ah, mm. you just take on once. Now, just one, one minute job now. Oh. You know, they two they say, now just do 60 second script for me yeah. and be going. They don't know uh, what it takes to achieve that 60 seconds or 45 seconds. So, how many times do you actually, uh, you know, get to record a script? Being the fact that, see, the fact that you've gotten this far in the industry, yeah. how many times would it take you? Because if people feel that at the beginning you will suffer that of taking, hmm. taking, 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 does it stop? At any point where you don't reach one level, you say, okay, now, I say, oh, give me a script, I already read them, you don't good. Hmm. Would you ever get to that point, or does it ever get there? Um, wow. For script delivering, and how many times? Uh, it depends. It depends on what the sound. See, that's why you have to understand the sound and know what you're looking at. Mm. So, you know, because it, it's, it's not just voiceover, it's not about words. Mm -hmm. Because if I see a word that is exciting, yeah. you know, what if I give you a word that is exciting naturally, and I'm ask, I'm asking you to say it in a in a sober sober tone. way. For yeah. Example, imagine you wanted to say something like uh, wonderful, and I, I wanted to say wonderful like and crying. Mm. So that's the way to interpret voiceover. So mm. in most cases, it's a tight corner to to get the right sound. So there's always room. You always have to take it. If if you do not get the right sound. You take it for me. I could take it uh, depending on what. If I listen back, I could even produce everything. I go back. And you go back and I listen. listen. I said, no, 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 no. Say no connect. Maybe I need to tweak the script a bit. Yeah. A bit. I mean, I need to change some words. Yeah. Leave the same meaning. I could go back again and say, no, it's not. I could do it as many times as possible. I could be mm. in the studio and record 5, 15 recording of the same script, and then I'm not still satisfied, still not satisfied with satisfied. it. Or maybe the producer is not getting it. Because mm -hmm. I always say the producer is, is very key. Because as a voiceover, when you get into the studio to work, don't have anything in your mind. Don't have a concept of how you feel you should, you sound. should sound. Listen to the direction. There's got to be a guide of a script. Hmm. You know, you can't have it in your mind, this is the way I want to do it. You can suggest 
because we need it's, it's a very professional tip if, yeah. you, if anyone gets to that point you understand that you can suggest because um you are not nobody's a repository of knowledge you True. don't know it all as far as you know that space is concerned True. so always don't go into the studio with the mindset so the new minutes you can do as many times as possible but there are days my brother if you do 10 <laughs> you now go back to that first one yes <laughs> And I'm like, this is what I'm this is what I was looking for. Why well, did I waste exactly time doing all these? There's always that experience too. So that this yeah. we take ones, but the right thing is to get the right sound. Hmm. Understand. That's why you must understand your sound. Yeah. What's your sound? You know. Yeah. I'll, I'll do better on some scripts. There's some scripts Dance, where yeah. I rather I rather an Adele would jump. <laughs> but that doesn't stop you from doing from to, trying it. trying any other scripts. Mm -hmm. You know. And then there's also this myth about baritone. So I need to address this because yes, people say please. every voiceover you, you must, must be, be in the land of myth at the time of magic. You know, blah, 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 blah. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not something. Technology has even made it possible for for anybody to sound that way. If yeah. you really want to sound that way, that's why I say it's important for you to understand the components of your voice. Yes. And know how to use them. Mm -hmm. know how to use it and also bring your identity in your voiceover I, i'm very sure it's easy for you to identify this calling this and there because mm -hmm. you know e the components of your voice yes. and your personality yeah they would always show no mm -hmm. matter how you want to sound even if it's an announcement it's an obituary announcement or whether it's an excitement or maybe a drama script mm -hmm. that a devilness should always come out yeah. so you know um yeah i haven't said that the baritone matter and has come <laughs> you know um, <laughs> it's over, no 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 it's true it's true it's good yeah because in our environment right now people tend to relate with relate it, to that you know easily. to that easily yeah. oh, you, you, so you must sound, sound, sound like voice. that he, must, he has said, a great voice if there's nothing you've heard here today at least the fact that i say everyone has a great voice and everybody who has a voice can do voiceovers it's a matter of just look at the value chain man choose where you want to yes. belong face what you're doing get your information right there's a lot of resources out there you mm -hmm. can go to a place like voices.com i mean i hope just to mention a few yeah. places go online google is your friend google voice over what do i need to start and then you know also get get used to um the, the people called voiceover coach yeah Edward, for example now yeah. i mean i know for sure that he, i mean he is <laughs> he he is he, 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 he takes pride in that he's one of them yes! so you know you could you could yes you could you could reach out to voiceover coach yeah. to guide you specifically mm -hmm. there are things that are not in the books you can't read them True. youtube video will not give you you True. need someone who would you record and he sends it will send it to you send to the person they like ah okay but what do you think of this thing yeah you must have people like that in life to grow fast and easy but one thing you should remember money did the matter yeah, so money that you matter as uh, Colin Seke on Tokama. Thank you very much for talking to us, Collins. And uh, for people who uh, who would like to start voiceovers, uh, you can uh, follow uh, Collins on his social media platform. Yeah. He's a, an amazing voiceover coach, and you guys can learn. Uh, well, no, no worry. This money will go make up. So, uh, <laughs> Collins, just tell them your Instagram handle or how they can follow you on social media All right. quickly. It's it's Collins underscore Teke on Instagram. Mm -hmm. That's Collins, uh, C O W L I N S T E K E underscore Teke. Yeah, of course, T E K E. Yeah. And on Twitter, it's Collins Take Care. On all platforms, just Collins Take Care. Simple. All right. Simple as that. All right. Yeah. So, guys, uh, those on our way down the shadow and I want to be voice of artists, yes, this is the best way to start that um, um, profession. Like you said, everybody who has a voice can actually do voiceovers. Don't be deceived, don't be afraid. And the one where I go carry go is a baritone scam. <laughs> <laughs> to enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.